Jaguar no doubt disagrees, but the best perk of driving one of its cars is not seeing another one. There's too much country for Jaguars to be as commonplace as Mercedes-Benz's or BMW's, each of which sells about 20 times as many vehicles in America as the British automaker scrapes together in one year. That may change some as the F-Base SUV and Shea Compact Sedan gain momentum, but right now Jaguar remains very much a boutique brand. This is a company that fielded a three-car lineup just four years ago all of them rear-wheel drive V8s. So even if the XF sleek profile looks familiar, it's an uncommon sight for most people. Feeling special, we have now tested the top-of-the-line XFS. When this second-generation midsize sedan debuted last fall, we reviewed a rear-wheel drive 35 tons R Sport with the XF's thin base engine, the 3.0-liter supercharged V6 found across Jaguar's lineup. For 2017, the XF adds a new starter trim called the 20D, which comes with a turbocharged 2.0-liter diesel inline-4 shared with the Shea and, soon, the F-Base. Given the considerable dip in oomph, Jaguar discounts the diesel by a couple of thousand dollars versus the 340-horsepower V6. Our all-wheel drive S is as sporty as the XF gets before the upcoming high-performance SVR model makes it truly nasty.